What's up, Sim Racers? Larry TJR Sim here, and today I got an update to the AO Logs uh, sequential shifter, and it also applies to the AO Logs uh, handbrake if you have that as well. But what it is, if you see here in the camera, here I got a nice blue LED. And when I did my review, I'd mentioned it'd be really cool if you could change the color of this thing just to match your preference at the time. Uh, and, you know, must have heard me. So. <laughs> Uh, you can actually change the color zone here. It's actually pretty cool. You have this little AO Logs tool here you open up, and it's your basic little um, um, you know, color change uh, palette that you have here. And you can see, as I'm moving this around, you are changing the colors live through there. So it's you know green, yellow, red, whatever you want. Uh, so if you don't want no color, you could go over here and pick black and have zero color in on it. So really nifty little uh, addition, you know, that it's really nice that they did something like this, I think. Uh, just adds a little bit more extra, a little extra detail uh, in your system. So uh, yeah, pretty dang cool, uh, if you ask me. So yeah, all these little colors here, man, you can just come up with all kind of color combinations. Of course, save, you know, add the custom colors. You know, I did a bunch of little custom colors here uh, just to fill the boxes up and, 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 you know, change them on the whim. Default is, of course, red. I think it's more that red right there. Uh, but, yeah, change it, to, change it to your liking. So we're going to go with, let's go with, uh, let's go with blue right now, okay? Because this, most of my rig is blue stuff right now. So, uh, but, you know, all you do to install it, and you can close this, and it saves it, saves it there automatic. As you can see, it's still blue now. Uh, so no worries there, but he'll send you a firmware update. If you haven't already received it, uh, contact them. I don't know if he sent it out to everybody. I, I just know he sent one to me. So, uh, but you'll get this little updater here. And uh, what it is is ALogs tool, a readme file, and the setup exe file here. Uh, and that's what you'll run through. Of course, read the readme file, <laughs> read text here. Uh, it was a little confusing at first for me because uh, I may be a little slow, but uh, no, really what happened is, is the, uh, the WinZip that I was using at the time, I had extracted in the course of my downloads folder, and I had so much stuff in there, I couldn't find everything. Uh, so anyway, but yeah, just read the install. You know, the instructions are install the uh, demo v3 06 setup exe file, uh, install that, and then go ahead and, and literally uh, unplug your shifter here that you see and uh, there's gonna be a little small I can feel it right here I, it's not here in camera I got my camera situated just right so we can see the colors but you hold that button in push it in uh, on the back side of the shifter and then you go ahead and you know reconnect your 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 plug at the same while you're holding that in right and after you do that uh, I, I go ahead and click on this the demo file that it says to run and I actually let go of the button right and uh, when you click on the demo file it's gonna have this little uploader here that you see that pops up and this is the one that you're gonna run so it gives you a little bit of example of what's going on here so um, close that off there so yeah you choose this you get this little uploader it defaults to this STM device in DFU mode Everything else in here is, is defaulted, so no worries there. Uh, you actually just, it auto, automatically auto fills in, and you go ahead and just hit upgrade. And uh, once you do that, it, you know, you're going to see this bar climb through. And once it's done, hit quit, and you're done. Uh, and then you come back over here to the instructions, and the instructions, of course, say reconnect shifter to PC. But if you remember, you already had your shifter connected. So after you do the upgrade, which is flashing the uh, actual shifter itself. Go ahead and unplug the shifter, is what I found to do. And then uh, replug in the shifter, and then come over here and run your, your AOLogs toolbox, which will then, of course, you know, be installed in here as well. And then you can go ahead and change your colors just to your liking. So that is it, it is that simple. Uh, you know, after you installed it, you know, obviously you just come over here and change it on the whim. Really cool, really nifty little program uh, that they implemented for us. Uh, so, yeah, really enjoying it.
Sometimes I go red, sometimes I go blue, and uh, hardly ever go pink. So, <laughs> but uh, burn orange, uh, green, green for go, go, go. Anyway, uh, I'm enjoying this, so hopefully uh, you can hit them up and get uh, your update if they haven't sent you it already. And until next time, we'll see you in track. Hope you like this look at the update for the AO Logs tool. Again, this is for the uh, AO Logs sequential shifter and the um, handbrake itself. So I should have a handbrake coming here for long to do a uh, full review unboxing on. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the track next time. I'm out.